Hi, I'm Dean from Travel Vids, and today we're going to do a basic editing tutorial. I'm going to take you through the process of taking separate clips that are stored on your mobile device and turning them into one clip that you can export for YouTube, Facebook or Instagram. This will be the ultimate basic process and we are going to be using a Samsung S8 with PowerDirector. On your phone, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your gallery and open the camera folder where all your images are stored. Then select all the clips that belong in one video that you want to put together into one clip and we are going to move them to a new album. We'll create a new album and we'll call that uh, Coffee just for argument's sake and we'll create that folder. Now I've got a nice contained folder with all those clips in it. I'm going to do this tutorial in two separate processes. The first is how to import clips and then just export them straight so that you can see how it works. And then on the second run, we'll do a little bit of tweaking to it so that way you get to see the program in action a little bit. So we're gonna open up PowerDirector if this is the first time you're working with PowerDirector, you'll notice that tutorials will pop up. You can just close these because they can actually get a little bit confusing. On the topic of confusing, you'll notice that there's buttons on the top, on the side, at the bottom here, everywhere. Just ignore everything for the moment. The only thing you want to focus on is a new project. So always rename your projects to match your folders. So we'll call this coffee. Done. Leave it at 16 by 9 and off we go. Now the second screen is your library. It's what you need to find the clips. Because we've put it in a folder already, you'll see it right there. It's the coffee folder. And there you have the clips that we wanted. To get them into the timeline, which is this line at the bottom here, all you need to do is find the one you want to put in first, which will be that one. Tap it once to highlight it, tap it again to put it in the timeline. Then in order that we want to put them in, we'll have that one next. And then we'll have that one next. And that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. And there we go, there we go. There we go. So I've brought all the clips in to the timeline, which has basically connected them back to back over here. If that is the way you want it, then all you need to do is go back again, back to the library page, and back again, this will be your home page. It's where you can play the video from. So your controls are on this side, and to continue editing the video would be on this side. But as I've said, first edit, we're going to just keep it very simple. Um, we'll put them in back to back like this. And I'm going to use this top corner one, which is your export button. And we want to produce this video. It's always best to save the video to your phone. So save gallery or to an SD card. Rather do it like this than going straight to the platform. I find it keep, gives you more control to, to do what you want in, in Facebook or YouTube, wherever you're going to use it. So save it to your gallery. You can choose the size that you want to save it in. HD is usually fine, but if you're making a small video that you want to email to somebody, you can use SD, which shrinks the file size a little bit. So we produce the video. Then, there'll be a screen like this, which will be a advert. Because I'm using the free version, you can just close that, it'll go out of your way. It, this is a really inexpensive app and it's definitely worth purchasing. And when you purchase it, it will take the watermark off the video. So once again, that's just an advert. You can ignore the picture. Okay, we don't need to rate you. We go back again. Your two important buttons are at the top here is your back button. If you ever push something wrong, like this happens and you go, I don't know where I am, I've gotten lost, then all you gotta do is push this back button. You see, there's a tutorial window that I was talking about. When you see these tutorial windows that pop up, 
You untick the show this tip next time so that it won't get in your way. Tap and it'll go away. So if you ever get stuck, this back button on top here is your sort of saving grace in case you make a mistake and you get lost in the program, then you just go back. Always go back. If you go back again, it takes you back to the home screen. If you want to carry on editing the project, in here you must just find your project. We were working on coffee. So I can go back to editing the project over here. And it takes me back to that home screen. Back button and export button. If you want to get a little bit more fancy now and you want to edit it, so we preview the video over there. You can see some of the clips are a bit long, like we could shorten them. So let's just pause that. All you got to do is select the clip. Then we're going to zoom in a little bit to make it a bit bigger. Once again, select it. And then you can just trim the clip at the back and the front. So once again, there we go. We'll just tr select that one, trim it down, trim it down. That one, trim, trim it down. See, these are all way too long. And that way, when I watch the video now, it goes quick, chop, chop, chop. And you can carry on going throughout the video. You'll see the full length of the video at the top here. I'm at 29 seconds. So, you know, keeping them short is really good. If you want to get a little bit more in depth, by tapping on the clip, you'll have just under the back button, you'll have an edit button, which will give you a little menu with more things that you can do. Like for example, reversing the clip, flipping it, duplicating it, um, changing the color, or like in this case where he was talking and you don't want to use the voice, you just take the volume and you drop the volume all the way down to mute the clip. Then if you decide that you want to change the order around, all you have to do is simply hold it till it turns orange and you can move it to there and let go. So it's, you can reorder the clips like that. And if you would like to add in more, so we go to the back here, you go to that button and it takes you back to the library. So you can add in clips, maybe even from another video, like me talking over there and bring that into the video. The same thing can go for music. You'll see on the timeline underneath there's some more tracks here with a little music note over there. You can add music in there. You'll go to the music tab at the top, find some music that's on your phone, and then again, the little plus will take it into the song. And you see I haven't lined it up with the front, so we'll just hold it and drag it. To the front. See, uh, I want to shorten the front of the music so that it gets going straight away. And then if I preview it. Perfect and ready to go to Instagram. We produce the project and save it to the phone. Fully produce, HD produce. This little pop up here again is just to remind me that I want to maybe get the full version. It's about five or six dollars. It's really well priced for a, a very comprehensive video editing app. I hope you found the quick look that we had as PowerDirector on a Samsung S8 helpful to putting videos together. I think a lot of people get frightened off by the idea of editing because where do I even begin? And, and although these programs can look a little bit complicated, all you really got to focus on is keeping your clips short. So filming is very important. Making sure that you know what you want to film so that when you get to the editing program, it's a matter of opening up the folder dropping them in in the right order and then just adding a music track and pushing that export button. 
you're looking for a little bit more information and a little bit of a deeper look into this whole process, we do the seven step editing process, which takes you through the same thing we've just done with all the little odds and ends along the way, as well as how to film and planning exactly what to film so that your editing does become as easy as painting by numbers.